Hey guys, welcome to another Marquee Matchups, and also we have something else to do as well, another SBC, we have the, I believe, Argentina versus Brazil. All the SBCs have been completed as always, so let's do the Argentina versus Brazil first. We're going to go ahead and submit all the squads, I'll show you who I used. So I basically used a back line of Argentina, middle I used Brazil, and up front I used Spanish. It doesn't really matter who you use up front as long as you have the two Argentinian players and two Brazil players. These are all players that were in the squad, so it doesn't matter to me. They're all basically worthless, untradeables. So, uh, some of them, I believe, are just packed players, of course, but here we go. Continue on. Um, and then next, we'll do the marquee matchups, which have also been completed. So, all we have to do is submit the um, SBCs and reap the benefits and get the packs. Here we go. So, Arsenal versus Spurs. This is the squad that I used right here, and I will quickly cycle through it. There we go. And if you need to pause it, you can see that. If not, let's move on. Here we go. Atletico Madrid versus Real Madrid. Also very simple. Just basically a bunch of players I had in the, in, in the squad. This is why I've been keeping players, so I can do these nice and easy for everybody. Get them done. Get them out. Here we go, this is everybody. If you need to slow it down and pause and see who I used, if you want to use them, I didn't necessarily go for the exact cheapest route, just went for the quickest route. Whoever I had in my club goes in there except for high-rated players. Uh, Rio Ave versus SC Braga. This is the team we used. This was also extremely simple. It's basically just a bunch of Liga NOS players. Here we go, 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 all right, sorry about the late video, guys, as well. Um, I was out with the family. I was having some good times and good memories. As you can tell, I also have over 5 million coins in the squad. Oh, I sold somebody. I guess that must have been during the Brazil-Argentina one. Um, let's just throw really anybody, right? Let me just throw this guy in there. Ta-da! All right, and then I will show you guys where I use as well. Just quickly cycle through them so you guys can see who I used. If you want to copy them as well, you can. This did work out pretty well for me. I ended up having everybody in the club for the marquee matchups and the Brazil versus Argentina. I didn't have to buy a single player. And I have a ton of players left over that I can sell for a ridiculous amount of markup right now. There it is, marquee matchups completed. Premium gold players pack, and then all the packs that you get for completing those, of course. And then we have... Um, we don't have any new Path to Glory players, but we did finish the Argentina versus Brazil. So let's get into the packs without further ado. And here we go. Let's see if we get something good. Let's open up the Jumbo Silver player pack first and skip that crap and get it out of here. And then we will move on to hopefully some good stuff. And basically, we're just going to throw everything into the club. And I, I will siphon through everything later on off, off, off stream or recording or whatever you want to call it. At this particular time, this is just going to be recording. I think that marquee matchups and stuff like that ends up working out better anyway. Man, we got some good packs for that, though. We'll do the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack first, guys. Let's see if we can get a board down on the first one. And we do not. We just get some basic crap. So let's see here. These were some extremely easy marquee matchups. And the path to glory every single day having a new SBC for just, I mean, even just a premium gold players pack or something like that, you know, or prime gold players pack is pretty sweet. Um, it's really just a bunch of free stuff. And you get all these players back in the packs anyway. Let's go with the Electrum players pack. This is what I packed Hero Messi in. So this should be not a board down or anything, actually. It's just going to be, well, at least it's a rare gold card. That's not terrible. He's probably best to save for a marquee matchup with Barcelona. But let's just see what he's running for right now, because the Santander players are going for some... Oh, my... Oh, I was like, man... No, we're going to go ahead and keep him, stick him in the club with everybody else. And then I'm going to siphon through everybody who is important to the marquee matchups and sell them. Because I'll most likely get them duplicates back anyway and then, you know, run that way. Okay, premium gold players pack. Premium gold players pack. 
Let's do the rare gold pack first. <clears throat> See if we can get a board. We do get a shine. Board's down. Let's see if we can get a walk out. It's Dutch. Center back. De Vrij? Yeah, it's De Vrij. Not the best card in the game. Not the worst card in the game. Nah. You know I got my Dutch players, though. I pretty much have every single Dutch player in this game, so. Except for the. You know, some of the icons. I uh, actually don't have any icons at the moment because I sold everybody. Because I am fearing. Let's go with. Which one? Which one? Which one? It's the same thing. I don't know why I'm hesitating. Here we go. It's it's a matter of choice. Choices. No boards. Okay, so this was not the right way to go, maybe. We got one pack left. Let's see what we get. We got Benteke. Any Real Madrid, Tottenham. Hey, there we go. There's a Tottenham player. I should probably list the one that I have, too. Last pack, but not least, can we get something big? We get shine. Boards, let's go. Is it something good? It's Mane? No, it's a center, it's Keita. Ah, another 83 rated player. Okay, so, well, considering the fact that we didn't really spend any coins on this, it's not terrible since it's all pure profit. But not what we like to see. It's not the big walkout that we usually end up getting. Um, no promo packs or anything like that. So maybe tomorrow with the team of the week. Um, who are you guys hoping to see for team of the week? I'm hoping to see some good Dutch players so I can add them to the squad for the weekend league. Other than that, this week basically... Um, if you want to know what kind of squad I'm going to be using for the weekend league, what I'm going to attempt to do, guys, is I don't think I'm going to use Roberto Carlos, but I think I am going to try David yes. De Gea. And then what I'm going to do in the back line as well, here we go, is we're going to have, of course, Frank Rijkaard. And I really did enjoy the way that the 85 Rio, Rio Ferdinand played. So we're going to stick with him. And then also, here we go, for our left back position, what we are going to do is we are going to use the same player that we used last weekend, Marcal. Uh, hopefully I can get his name right this time. Next, what we are going to use is the 86 Philip as the center defending mid. And then what we are going to do is use the 88 Vieira as the other center defending mid. As our cam this week, we are, oh, yes, we are going to use the 90-rated bird camp again. Iron Robin, of course, on the right. As our striker position this week, we are going to go back with Plum Bustin, but we are going to use this 89-rated version. I don't think the 91 yeah. has the pace that we like. The thing about his 89 is it just feels like a better player, and we're freezing over here. It's telling me to put Ronaldo in. Here we go, Plum Bustin. And then on the left wing, we're going to have Memphis. Now, depending on how our investments work out from last weekend, we did sell our entire team. Um, so hopefully it works out and we can add some players to the squad, maybe do some upgrades. I'm hoping that the 88 Vieira does come. And maybe we'll try out the 88 Ferdinand as well instead. But for now, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow.